Good evening, you are watching Northeast Express on Hornbill TV. The Assam State Committee of the CPIM has accused the BJP of enticing voters and violating the Model Code of Conduct. Addressing a press conference at the party's state office, Hedayatpur in Guwahati, the CPIM said it has issued a notice to state BJP President Bhavesh Kalita for violating the Model Code of Conduct. And the Chief Minister had also announced the socio-economic survey after the MCC was declared. The state party president, Supraksh Talutkar, said that they are demanding the election commission to take action against the chief minister as he is directly involved in the system. <laughs> Aro Chris Marshall, Mutaman Media, Bibidi. Theon, Boy Jami, Homoko Raja Ponoteva, Art of Hamadi, Social Economic, Salvia, Ekapilova, Ekapilova. But that the person, Jitumaho, Unusidoho, Emaho, Ekapilova, and the Salve. Are we Salve? उन्हें उन्हें आसानी मिला को कुबिरा पुआन आए ताकि हम कहें कि बहुत बहुत कोई बहुत बड़े बड़े जाओ आरु कोई पलाए अनुभव मंत्री बाइक तुझे जाने में चेक करें ना पाओ इस टाइप को आरु जाने के बड़े बड़े बोल पलाए कि हम पलाए नाइक वाट जाने के सॉर्टर मने निर्बासना पसंद जाने को यही मिला दिया पाने जा� एकाने अमार डॉलर पहले उपरा जो आ सारे अप्रैल करेंगे जिसमें अमी निर्बासन आएंगे और उसको अभिजुक पत्तों का सही बोलेंगे या अमी स्पष्ट हो गए कोई सुन जब मुख्यमंत्री आरो प्रधानमंत्री पत्तों ने उनके देखभाल को इस असल में पत्तों के बाहर पड़ा ना मुख्यमंत्री बोलते पक्के तो जो भी हो तो ये तो � मॉडल को जब पंडक होंगे पड़ा रहता उभिजुक एक एक तो बामी सुखा पड़ गई सु। तेरे लोग के केवल एक फोन न होए पड़ोस के फोन में देखा गया है जब तीन फोन को फोन करेगा लेकिन फोन और फोन फोन ऐसे ले अपना रेसोन कार्ड और एक तो ओरोन होए रेसोन कार्ड जिन्हें पला आसा तेरे लोग का नियम होगा इतिहा� the Bharatiya Janta Party Nagaland on 6 April observed its 44th Foundation Day by unfurling the party's flag across the state in different districts, excluding the eastern Nagaland areas. State office bearers read out the address of the party's state president, Benjamin Yiptomi, who also unfurled the party flag at 35 Zuneboto Mandal. The Mandals under the districts also participated in the program. On the occasion, the party paid homage to its founding leaders, Dr. Syama Prasad Mukherjee and Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay, and founding president Atal Bihari Vajpayee. The party was founded on 6th April 1980. The karyakartas of the party were encouraged to draw inspiration from the party's rich history to rededicate themselves to its noble cause and redouble their efforts in ensuring a resounding mandate for the party under the leadership of Narendra Modi. The party workers were also asked to strengthen the hands of central leaders by electing the PDA consensus candidate from Nagaland to surpass the historic milestone of 400 seats in the Lok Sabha under the slogan, Abki Bar Char Sopar. According to the party source, the state party president is currently on tour and is said to visit 32 Atoism Mandal and proceed to 33 Suruhoto Mandal on Saturday. The president's entourage will also tour 34 Agunato Mandal on Monday and hold meetings there.
A case has been registered against Charan Das Mahant, the Chhattisgarh Congress leader of opposition, over his objectionable remarks against Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a public rally. The FIR was registered under Section 506 for criminal intimidation at Kotwali Police Station in Rajnanda Gaur City, following directions by the election officer against the senior Congress leader on Friday. Police said Charan Das Mahant who is one of the star campaigners of the party, sparked controversy at a public rally in Rajnand Gaur on Tuesday when he stated that they needed someone who could hold a stick and confront PM Modi. During his speech in the local dialect, Mahant urged the public to ensure the former Chief Minister Bupesh Baghel's success for their future well-being. He called for support for Baghel's victory in the Rajnand Gaur Lok Sabha seat hailing him as a champion of women and farmers. These remarks stirred controversy, drawing a swift response from the ruling BJP. Uh, <laughs> IPC An SBI employee posted at Bishnupur branch was arrested on Friday evening in Delhi after he allegedly absconded with crores of rupees and gold ornaments belonging to the bank. The 40-year-old man by the name Monarch Lysram Grace went missing without any information on 2nd April. The keys to the locker room of the bank was in his possession. When the bank found out that rupees 2 crore cash and gold ornaments were missing along with the cashier, the branch manager filed a complaint at Nambol police station. After launching a search operation, Monarch Laishram Grace was traced from Patel Chest Christian Colony opposite Morris Nagar police station, North Delhi, where he was arrested. The Chief Electoral Officer of Manipur, P.K. Jha, on Friday confirmed on the report of gathering of women at the Chief Minister's bungalow. Jha on Friday said that the model code of conduct has come into force and all the political parties and candidates have also been informed about the do's and don'ts. He said, subsequent to the announcement of the election schedule, if at all any complaint is received from any of the political party or the candidate, then it will be referred to the concerned DEO or the RO for a report on the matter. He further said that they have received a complaint from one of the political parties regarding the particular instance. It may be mentioned that the opposition Congress legal cell had launched an official complaint with the Chief Electoral Officer and Election Commission of India on 2nd of April. PCC President K. Megha Chand has also raised the issues on different platforms. See, uh, the day the election was announced, model code of conduct has come into force. And all the political parties and now all the candidates have also been informed about the do's and don'ts. Subsequent to the announcement of election, if we at all receive any complaint regarding... So, uh, complaint I, can, not received. Kindly allow me to complete. Okay. Uh, subsequent to that, if we receive any complaint from any of the political party or the candidate, then the uh, action that is taken is that we refer it to the concerned DEO or the concerned RO and the report is taken. The particular instance that you are talking about, we have received a complaint from one of the political parties, we have referred it to the DEO and we are waiting for the report. And any action to be taken or not would be depending on the report that is received. Tell yes. The process of enrollment of a voter. So when a person who is desirous to enroll himself or herself in the electoral uh, role, there has been lots of so fake voter ID cards. Kindly allow me to complete. You have asked a question uh, uh, 
No, I understand. In, in, the in, in all fairness, you'll have to allow me to complete. So there is a process for it, and while enrolling, they have to submit all kind of documents which are necessary. On the basis of which the EROs do the enrollment. However, any specific, and when we when I say specific, we need specific details like a particular motor is fake or illegal or has been enrolled by submission of fabricated documents. We take immediate action and if found uh, genuine, that consider that particular voter is removed from, from the electoral roll. In fact, you would be aware that last year alone, on the basis of uh, photo similar entries and uh, demographically sim uh, similar entries, more than 50,000 uh, voters who were enrolled earlier have been deleted from the voters list. And that is a continuous process. And any any uh, uh, complaint made to our office with the specifics, we would not be in a position to respond to a general complaint. You give us the specifics, we'll do immediate acts, uh, we'll do immediate inquiry, and if there is merit in the complaint, necessary action will be taken. An extensive combined search operation was conducted by a team of Bishnupur District Police at Maibam Notpa Ching Mamang Lekai near Kabui village under Bishnupur district in Manipur on Saturday morning. During the operation, war-like store including one Sten gun carbine with two magazines, one 9mm pistol, one modified 303 rifle, nine numbers of HE-36 hand grenades, three numbers of smoke bombs, five 51mm mortar shells, one 2-inch mortar shell, one detonator, four numbers of walkie-talkie, of different companies along with two chargers, two numbers of mobile phones, two numbers of smoke shells, eight numbers of 7.62 mm ammunitions, two numbers of 5.56 INSAS ammunitions, two number of AK ammunitions, one tube launcher, one helmet, three pairs of jungle boots, three bulletproof vests, one rucksack bag and one sleeping bag were found inside three different bags. The recovered items were handed over to Nambol police station. Before the DG at DG team, this was a squad team. Hold it. This one, take. 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 Okay, this was a disposal team. The mortal remains of Major M. Pritam Singh arrived at Imphal Airport on 5th April. The body of the officer was received by the senior military officers. As a mark of respect and military traditions, all present paid floral tributes at the airport. The mortal remains were then taken to the officer's residence in Lukar, Imphal, West District of Manipur. The cremation ceremony was held with full military honours in presence of senior military officials, representatives of civil administration and family members at around 4 p.m. Major M. Pritam Singh left for his heavenly abode on 3rd April while deployed in an operational area due to climatic hazards. The officer was commissioned into Indian Army on 9th of December 2017 after successful training at Army Cadet College and Indian Military Academy, Dehradun. The Food Safety Department of Ribhoi conducted an inspection at KL Industries in Baridwa on Thursday to uphold food safety standards and ensure the public's access to safe food. Led by Assistant Commissioner of Food Safety and Designated Officer DBS Mukhim, the inspection forms part of the department's routine checks on food manufacturing companies aiming to ensure adherence to safety criteria and safeguard consumer welfare. Addressing the media, Assistant Commissioner of Food Safety and Designated Officer BDS Mukhim underscored the significance of the spot visit in enforcing stringent food safety protocols within manufacturing facilities. Despite compliance with the Food and Safety Standards Act 2006, companies like KL Industries were reminded of the necessity to maintain lab reports, particularly regarding vitamin content, instructing companies to rectify such deficiencies in line with guidelines from the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. 
Mukim stressed the importance of protecting consumers from potential harm arising from improperly labeled or tested food products. Firms were urged to ensure their business partners obtain FSSAI licenses to maintain compliance with regulations. So everybody will have, been, have to do the same. Not only you, every it will be, it will be coming by an official letter. By the order, we will give you a copy. So since I'm I'm here today, I have made it known that you know we will ask you, we will all the reports us to submit a copy of the license of their uh, you know the, of their uh, any company that they are dealing with. Even in Sri Lanka, same thing. After the Zamara, so we hope they will have to do the same. And even Assam and everywhere, so they will have to do the same thing. That is FSSA instruction. Not only. Not even a single case. Yeah. Assam, not even a single case. You will not get anybody who is asking for FSSA license. Yeah. So we'll make it known to FSSA because that is the normal thing that is That is not human consumption actually. That was raw material, no? This is the final. Bollywood actor Suresh Berry announced on Saturday that he will be making a Bollywood thriller on the culture and traditions of Assam. Addressing a press conference in Guwahati, he said he had been thinking about Lachit Bar Pukan for a long time and was also attracted to the Brahmaputra River. The actor said he will be checking out places in the state to shoot the film which is likely to start from November and will release early next year. ये जो ट्रिप है मेरी वो ट्रिप प्राइमरीली ये है जो मैं प्लान कर रहा हूँ वो आसाम में शूट करके आसाम के ट्रेडिशन और आसाम की कल्चर को आगे बढ़ाने की बात करूँगा जिसमें आसाम नजर आए उसमें आसाम शुड बी अ वेरी लवली पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया वो उसको आसाम एनहैंस होना चाहिए इन बॉलीवुड मूवी इन हिंदी म� जिसको आगे चल के आप आसाम में इस लैंग्वेज में आइडर शूट करूं या उसको डब करूं ये मैं भी बोल नहीं सकता ये तो बजट के ऊपर है सारा ना सारा but film to be shot in आसाम a Hindi movie which will be released in Bollywood and that movie will enhance the culture and tradition of आसाम because मैं इसमें believe करता हूं कि आपने कुल्लू मनाली दिखा दिया और कश्मीर बहुत बोल दिया इसी क्योंकि वो भी पहाड़ हैं वो भी पहाड़ हैं वो भी झाड़ हैं वो सेम टाइप के झाड़ हैं ना पूरे माउंटेन्स के ऊपर तो उन्होंने दिखा दिया वो उनकी प्रॉब्लम है क्योंकि उनके फिल्म की जो स्क्रिप्ट है वो पूरी स्क्रिप्ट कश्मीर की है और पाकिस्तान की है तो आप किसी भी पहाड़ को दिखा के आप आसाम नहीं बोल सकते क्योंकि उनकी स्क्रिप्ट स्क्रीन पे में आसाम नहीं है ना वो तो ये जो मैं जो फिल्म प्लान कर रहा हूँ वो आसाम के ही ट्रेडिशन आसाम का ही कल्चर को आगे बढ़ाएगा दैट इसलिए आसाम को सोचा, because मेरे मन में तब से वो लाशित बार भी कौन भरा हुआ है, plus मेरा assistant जो था वो दोरजे आसमी सेलर का, और वो always दोरजे नाम है उसका, always आसाम आसाम की बात करते हैं, और मेरे को बहुत interest है, मेरे को ब्रह्मपुत्र में, और मेरे को ये जो राजा थे, बहुत strong शिवाजी हुए, जिन्होंने बहुत लड़ाई की थी, और बहुत एकदम अच्छे तरीके से पब्लिक को खिलानी चाहिए जो छोटे जनरेशन वाले जो लोग हैं अगर उनको ये 10 और 20 की एज में अगर हम अभी उनको नहीं डोज देंगे तो वो कंट्री के आगे चल के फ्यूचर पे इफेक्ट पड़ेगा क्योंकि हमारी यंगेस्ट कंट्री है ये तो मोदी जी ने सबको बोला ये तो पता ही है सबको द यंगेस्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड तो ये फिल्मों के माध्यम से जो इफेक्ट होता है वो सबसे बड़ा इफेक्ट होता है लेकिन मैं अभी आया हूँ लोकेशंस और वो सारी बेसिक स्क्रिप्टिंग वो सब चीजें ये ये फिल्म का पहला हिस्सा होता है प्री प्रोडक्शन इसके बाद शूट प्लान होती है फिर पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन होता है और रिलीजिंग होता है चार फैक्टर्स होते हैं तो ये प्री प्रोडक्शन वाला पोर्शन चल रहा है ये मैक्सिमम दो महीने चलेगा 
ये हम देखेंगे ये वो सारा सिचुएशन क्या है फिर कहाँ कहाँ शूट करना है परमिशन भी होती है ना आजकल आजकल आपको मालूम है इलेक्शन का भी माहौल चल रहा है तो उस हिसाब से फिर आसाम के एक्टर या एक्ट्रेस को या दोनों को मेरी फिल्म के अंदर डेफिनेटली जो है साइजेबल रोल मिलेगा जो रजिस्टर होगा वो नॉन रजिस्टर्ड रोल में मैं इंटरेस्टेड नहीं हूँ खुद भी नहीं करता हूँ और किसी एक्टर को भी मैं जिंदगी में कभी बोला भी नहीं और मैं करूँगा भी नहीं ऐसे काम आसाम का एक्टर और एक्ट्रेस और बोथ अच्छा सा कोई एक्टर जो भी उसमें स्क्रिप्ट में फिट होता है उसमें वो काम करेंगे और रजिस्टर होंगे और वो प्राउड फील करेंगे कि मैंने हिंदी फिल्म में काम किया वो पहली बार कर रहे हैं या वो ऑलरेडी कर रहे हैं मुझे पता नहीं पड़ता इट ए, ए, एक एक लाइन में एक लाइन में इट इज अ थ्रिलर अ थ्रिलर थ्रिलर वो मल्टी लैंग्वेज का मैंने जवाब दिया कि आइर आसाम की लैंग्वेज में शूट करूंगा वो ए, हिंदी के साथ बाइलिंगल नहीं तो आसाम कोशिश करेंगे कि उसको शूट करें तो वो बेटर लगेगा नहीं तो वो डब करके ये थोड़े हो जाए इलेक्शन हो जाए और थोड़ा मौसम यहाँ पर वो होता है ना अक्टूबर से सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर से अच्छा होता है